Do you ever see the the Source Family documentary? No. Who's the Source? It was a cult that had a health food store in the 60s or 70s on Sunset. Yeah. It was like the first health food store. And the dude who ran the cult was like just just big lumberjack fool who like was just, he robbed banks to start the cult. He what? killed a dude. It was back in the 70s where you could kill somebody and like still just be like, live your life. Because it didn't matter because there's no forensics. Yeah. Like you literally, you, if you, you would have to get caught. Or or if you're you a know? white dude, you could like kill a guy and just be and like, be ah. like uh, give him eight months. Yeah. Because you know what? He pissed him off. He pissed him That's off. That's the 70s. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, the Source family, mm. they had a cult, they had a commune. And I'm watching this documentary, I watched it a couple of times. And it's just like, there's a part of me that would just love to be like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to join this cult. You just tell me what to do from now on. Are you, whatever you Imagine tell, the freedom like, to put on a white robe. Uh, and they go, he goes, he goes, Hey, Maddie, you're going to fuck Moonbeam. Yeah. I want to fuck Moonbeam. You're going to give me all your money first. Uh, here you're gonna it fuck is. Moonbeam. You're going to eat off alpha sprouts. They would do meditation, smoke weed, yoga, tantra. And then and what? That was their life. Just pure joy. And they got told what to do, and they were into it. Being a cult, I think, would be the nicest. Fucking down. It would be the nicest thing ever. I'm down. Until you had to get put in the cage or something. You know? And then the ants, they put ants in your eyes. Or, like, there's weird, like, there's, like, there's the joy. And then there's, like, the dark stuff where you have to, like, kill people or, like, have sex with your sister or. But most of them just revolve around fucking. Why? People are just horny? People are just horny enough at, to do anything, eh? At the end of the day, the dude that starts a cult. His ultimate goal is to fuck yeah. everybody. Everybody. No matter what happens, he just starts fucking. Pansexual. Right. Everyone's sexual. Everyone's sexual. So everyone so everyone who comes in as couples, all these beautiful women. Come to me. And then so I can come. Exactly. That's but the, what is, I always find it so funny. What's the lure on like not having like a lot of like if you, you show up and it's just like a dusty ass house. No. Uh, and then people are just stoked because like what is the lure? There's a mansion. It's a man he had a mansion because of the health food store? No, because a he robbed some banks. He started health food store. All that shit went bust. Yeah, everyone gives pitches in their money. It's a commune, so like all the money goes in one place. He takes it. Go panhandle, sell drugs, sell your bodies. No, 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 no. They just had like everyone. They, everyone had in. some money. They had money. They all pitched in. He had his own money. Who they has savings? Cutting, they started cutting records. Stay with me here. I'm they here started with cutting you. Records. I'm here with you. I'm just well, wondering. No, you're, you're going to go into savings and the Chase Bank and <laughs> no. ATMs. I know where you're going. Thank just, you. This episode <laughs> is brought to you by Cash App. <laughs> Venmo us some cash. Venmo me cash at erdman.com. Anyways, I'm down. Not really, but. You, what, to give up? You're just saying you want to give up and be told what to do. Aren't you doing that right now? Isn't society telling you what to do? Like to buy the gold chains, to wear your hair like that, to no. grow a mustache, to drink juice, to eat salads. No, I'm choosing this life. Uh, are you? Yeah. Are you in control? Are you in the algorithm? Are you in control of anything? I'm very in control. I don't think I so. I live outside. <laughs> I don't think you're Why in don't control. you think I'm in control? I think that I don't think you're in control. I'm very much in control. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I never have moments where I just go spend money because I feel sad. You don't just you don't just text me and say, should I buy this Warhol print for $400? Why not? Then you gotta take I it thought home. you would like it. What, to put it in my house? I don't know. It's a nice print. Is you, it not? Yeah, but you just want to buy something. We got to stop buying shit. I bought a t-shirt. I bought two t-shirts today. T-shirts are okay. I like buying t-shirts. Yeah. T-shirts are my favorite thing to buy, I think. <clears throat> t-shirts are my favorite thing to buy. But cults are interesting, aren't they, Alex? Yeah. Like, did you see, you saw like the once a time in the time in the, in the Hollywood. And then like that perspective, it's an interesting perspective, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just curious. Was that a sentence? Mm -hmm. A bunch of words. That was. Mouth. You said once upon upon a time in Hollywood, that perspective was interesting. Wasn't it? What are you talking about? The Mansons. They didn't really kill. They, they killed. They went to go kill Bra uh, Brad Pitt. And Leonardo DiCaprio, not uh, um, the 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 Tates. The Tates. They didn't do that. So that's no, a weird no, no. twist. They were going to kill the Tates, but they they went to the wrong house. Right. And fucking who's there? Brad Pitt, bust D your ass up. Decaps and Pitt. Yeah. The stunt man. The best part about that. Yeah. This is what I like. What do you like about that? Spoiler alert. <gasps> it's okay. It's very far gone. Spoiler alert is also the name of my. My car club. 
Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's a car club. Spoiler. It's a car club movie club called Spoiler Alert. And you watch movies in In car parks. In our cars with the fins on the back. Spoilers? Yeah, the whale tails. I'll let it go. Um, Ground effects. The best part about that movie, Mm. what I liked is that Hollywood is always very kind to hippies. Yeah. Not in this instance. No. And when he was bashing the hippie's head against the mantelpiece. Did you like that? I was laughing so hard it was good because it was like it was like edging 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 to that moment nothing happened the whole movie was just like nothing it was very that's what what's happening la there's they're coming that's i when i watched that movie i didn't i didn't um i liked it it's obviously like a beautiful movie good music you know everything everything is like his movie it's like a perfect movie but for some reason I, i didn't love it and then and then i thought the part where they went to the the commune or like the old set where Manson was. Yeah, I just wish something. that Manson, like, I just wish that like, it was like more, there's more there, but I guess that's all you need to show that it was just like a bunch of butt butts doing stuff out it's there. It's called the something ranch. Somebody knows, right? Sweet. Uh, well, way to go, fact, George. Fact checker. Yeah. Way to go, I George. thought you remember the good George, the George yeah. used to say, you said you're like, I'm the quickest. I'm the quickest Googler. Oh, remember when we first started talking? The only reason we came to you because you said you you're a quick Googler. Remember, I kept saying we need a we need someone. Yeah, we need a producer. We have go, zero George. producing. Barker Ranch, all from the dome, straight from the dome. What, what is, is it called? Barker Ranch. No, Barker. No, it's not oh, it. Oh, that's where they hung out at the. He doesn't no. even have. Oh, George. Have, he's looking at a notebook. There's a fucking <laughs> lap. He, he has. He doesn't have his phone up. But the thing about George, the whole reason we're here doing this podcast is because we thought we were gonna have uh, production help, and guess what? No. <laughs> Just oh. us, me and Two Tone, our minds, our bodies, trying to talk about the cults of L.A. Manson, Charles Manson. Jason's googling something. He's googling death metal. He, death he's metal googling. Underwear. He's just watching like death metal underwear, death metal rave dancing. Spawn Ranch. Spawn Ranch. Oh, come on. Spa and Ranch. Spawn. Oh, Spawn. Should we go there? No. Okay. Um, <sighs> but that movie, I thought, I thought it was interesting. You know, when I saw it. Mm. The heat, the AC was out in the theater, so it was musty. It was, it was musty. I saw it with Paige. Yeah. The Inno Slave. Yeah. You met Paige. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I thought you met her. Which one's Paige? Buddy of mine. Anyways. Okay. We went to Sugarfish with her. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Curly hair? Wavy. Sh- wavy. Wavy. Yes, your friend. Wonderful lady. Yes. Wonderful lady. Yes. Anyways, Paige, I do remember Paige. Paige was, she was clammy. I was clammy. It was hot. You guys but were, it, it, it added. It added to the intensity to the the, the joie de film. The joie de the film. The joie de film for sure. Right. That's what you want. You want to feel like you're there. It's sweaty. They're smoking cigarettes. Also known as the vibe. Yeah, the vibe. The vibe. Do you was think building. that they cut it out on purpose so the vibe would be real? I Did think, you watch that like Beverly? Did you watch that at Quentin's no, theater? It. No. Have you ever been in that theater? No, but I want to go because he shows cool shit. He shows cool shit on film. People get a little geeky and like they're like, you know, wearing the merch and like running around like, you know, they get. It's a hub of geek. Yeah. It's a geek hub. The. um, But I'm pretty nerdy, so I should go there and do. Should you go there? I think so. I like I like he's showing Let the Right One In the other day. That's nice. Have you seen that one? Vampire? Yeah. You you don't think I know? You don't consume a lot of media. I consume. I I watch great films. Okay. I'm an indie guy. Okay. Let's talk indie films then. <laughs> yeah, obviously. What era? Of Midnight indie Express. Film? That's not indie. Um, uh, Goonies. That's not indie. That's uh, a great film. It's not uh, indie. What was the last good indie film I saw? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is my favorite indie film. The Temple of the Doom. <laughs> Temple of Dooms. Yep. Temple of Dooms. <laughs> No, I don't take you for because every time I ask you about things, have you heard this? You go, no, I don't. I don't <laughs> listen to anything. I don't. I don't listen to a lot of new. I don't listen to like new music. I don't. I don't know. You did. I, I don't take a lot of stuff. I don't take a lot of stuff in. You but know we that both, we both liked Irreversible. We love. <laughs> yeah. Who out there loves Irreversible? No, I'm not. Listen. I love Irreversible. Listen, I know it's a brutal movie, and you it's can a say brutal. What you want. It's but, a great film, but it, it's a beautifully crafted movie. I mean, it's out of it's crazy. It's out of control. It's the first time you saw it. It's a movie that makes you feel a lot of different feelings. And how often do you get to feel anything? 
I don't feel anything since or before. Since the birth of yourself. Yeah. Like when I birthed myself, it was an amazing thing. And I was just like, here I am, world. And then Irreversible, the movie came out and I watched it. What well, I don't know. Maybe grade nine. No shit. Grade 10. Oh, my God. That's when not. Did, that's when did not, I. When did I. When, what year did that come out? What year did Irreversible come out? I don't know. I feel somebody, like I watched it in high school and it was like a secret thing that I watched it. If one of the eight people in this room knew how to Google, we could get the stats on that. No. Nah, huh? 2002. 2002. 18 years ago? Never mind. So oh. I was in college. I was four. <laughs> you were not four years old. I was, old. Four years I was old, in college. Right? I was in my second year, third year of college. I dropped out. I don't know. You went to Burger College? I went to Burger College. I learned how to burger hard and yeah. I would burger long and just make the crispy burgers, the juicy burgers, the flat burgers, the fat burgers. PhD in shallots. Shallots and yeah. lettuces and yeah. sauces. Lot. Do you take the mustard, the red sauce and the yellow sauce and the green sauce and put them all together and then you got your secret sauce and you can add the pickle and the onion and then. So this is a food <sighs> podcast and today Alex is going to kind of. Uh, I like that. I'm he's going to decompress. Uh, the salad that he's eating here, and he's gonna tell you all the ingredients. How many ingredients are in that salad? No one gives a shit. Listen, it's are not the a- same ingredients in that salad that's in this juice? N- no, let's not go down this. this Nutrition not- meets hydration. This is no good. It's a leafy green. Let's talk about keeps, keeps, keeps. See with me, I'm I got a full head of hair, but you know what? Now is the time to act on keeps. Now is the time to act. It's when you have hair, you want to keep it. You want to keep it. That's why it's called keeps. We want to keep it. And two out of three guys experience male pattern baldness. Two out of three. Two out of three by the time that they're 35. Wow. And we can prevent it. We can prevent it with keeps, you know, you can get treated at home. No more awkward doctor meetings, lineups at the pharmacies, keeps delivered straight to your home, straight to your home. And the thing about it is that it's the the two, one of the two FDA approved hair loss products out there. You may have tried it before, but never have you tried it at this price and keeps Treatments can take up to four to six months to see results. So it's important to act fast. Once again, it's important to act fast because the powerful truth angels, you're going to be getting something special with us and keeps. Okay. We are going to be getting $10, $10 a month. And with us, the powerful truth angels, you get $10 off. You get the first month free, baby. And you get the first month free. $10 $10 off. It's incredible. Keeps. And we want to make sure that we get the hair going because, you know, there's nothing like a full head of hair. <laughs> so we're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. We're going to go to keeps.com. We got $10. We got the first month free. First month is absolutely free, delivered to your home. We love you so much. Keeps.com slash P-T-A. And we're going to spell that out. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-A. Keeps. Keeps, keeps, keeps dot com. Keeps dot com. Keeps dot com. We went to last night. Last night. We were hanging driving out. Driving after. Let me, set, let me set the table first. You set the table. We're hanging out. Mm. Okay. And it was me, you, Christina, mm-hmm. Andrea. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy. Ice Eyes. Ice Eyes. Secret, ice ice. secret Assassin. <sighs> right? Frosted Frosted Soul. <laughs> frosted Soul. <yeah>. Frosted Soul. <laughs> the darkest. The darkest, darkest, coldest soul of all souls. The soul of souls. It's yeah. minimal soul mostly frost christina and, and andrea are uh my it, canadian neighbors and friends also they're in the business they're in the business they do real they do real they production. do hair and makeup so they came in set and design hooked us up they're help. you know you guys are looking around thinking man this set looks like a fucking dog pile guess what it's highly curated highly designed this is a very nice uh apartment and we made it look like a fucking crack house and that's because 
we're powerful truth angels. We can't be shooting in some high. We're in this really nice high rise, but it's like we're in the fucking Crystal Palace, but we've made it look like a shitty apartment in Los Feliz. And that's what's incredible about Andrea and like what what we're trying to do here. We're we're we're, we're living within society, but we're, we're cutting a little chunk out. We're making it look like we're just, you know, just having like a real mediocre kind of manic panic life. <coughs> First of all, fuck you. What do you mean? I live here. Oh, this is the thing that people need to know is that we're in. This is my home. <laughs> I've let you people in. <coughs> Sidebar: Last night I got home from the meal that we'll talk about shortly. Even though this is not a food podcast, I got home. Someone's just spilled coffee all over the floor. Where in my house? Right over there. Just like not even, not even like it's just it's a everywhere. Set. Yeah, it's just a it's a hot set. No, there's no, but there's no like what coffee. <coughs> I don't, was it you? It was ice no, coffee. No, I only have my iced coffee here. Oh, you're the iced coffee guy. Only one guy got no, iced you coffee. You know who's sitting over there yesterday who? with the iced coffee? Who? Was it John the PA? No. Was yeah. it me? My iced coffee's always here. I would never, I always have my iced coffee here, and I don't even have an iced coffee here because we don't have a PA today. <coughs> well, I had But to you came home. Coffee was all over the place. All so over the place. And so everything. when you get home late from eating food from a faraway place. Right. Do, when you get home, do you do do you get excited when you see a spilt coffee? No, it's or like do you get do you get really frustrated <laughs> and really angry? It's just like it's like when you at the end of a long day. Yeah. After everything going on, there's just there's lights everywhere, and I have to leave them up. You yeah. Know? Everything's the set's not broken down. No. And I no. come in and I'm like dead tired. Yes. And uh, as you should be, you're working hard. And then there's just coffee everywhere, so I got to clean it up. And uh, yeah, just a little fuck you to the day, eh? Fuck, just a little fuck a you. Little, go to bed. Yeah. Hey, fuck you. Go to bed. Because you know, in your heart of hearts, you just want to like let it go. You want to jerk off and go to bed, right? You know, you got a belly full of Szechuan, right? So yeah, we were here talking about going to dinner on Maddie, the world's greatest culinary food podcast ever. <laughs> Maddie's fucking Maddie's food bucket. Maddie's food bucket trough trough me up and um fill me up. And Maddie just opens up the old, uh, I don't even know what you looked at, but you said, oh, this looks great. Szechuan. Look at the picture. Because L.A. has dog shit. You, in the city of like L.A., for some reason, there's no fucking good Chinese food. You got to go to San Gabriel Valley or you got to go outside yeah. of L.A. You, you have to drive for at least it. 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And, 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 and it drives me nuts because I'm from Toronto. Toronto has an incredible Chinatown, an in incredible food, and you can go to Markham outside of Toronto, and it's the greatest, uh, it's maybe the greatest Chinese outside of Ch China. It's incredible. Does your hair look good? Does it look good, you fucking psychopath? <laughs> Does your hair look, no. Does your hair look, are you happy with yes, your hair? Yes, yes, Is that it? Yeah. Christ oh, no. And, no, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So we went to, uh, you picked a place. Well, no, because you want, you are, were you going to go into detail about how I picked a place so quickly and I looked at just like the stupid Yelp photos right. and from that I can pick. I'm a genius at picking restaurants through Yelp photos. Right. Do you want me to describe how I worked through the process sure, of finding so, quickly sure. and accurate? I would, you know what? I would love. I'm yes. Oh. Yes, let's hear that. I want to tell you about I'd it. I'd love to hear it. So if you guys are out there and you're looking for really good Chinese food or really good food in general and a lot of people fuck the reviews, okay? So fuck the reviews, fuck your stars, fuck all the bullshit. I like a lot of stuff. When I look in for like a new Vietnamese restaurant and I'm in a city where where I've never been or Vietnamese uh you know, Korean uh, Chinese, Japanese, Jamaican, Haitian, Middle Eastern, any type of food, white dude, fucking biscuits and gravy, whatever it is. When you're looking for that kind of stuff, you want to just look for the ooey gooey stuff. If I'm looking for Szechuan, I want to make sure it's not fucking chicken balls with like shitty Szechuan sauce or something like that. You want to see the big chili bowls. You want to see lots of cilantro. You want to see lots of onions, 
for pho, you want to see lots of really good herbs. You want to see lots of stuff. And you can just tell, you can tell the broths. If the broths are good on pho restaurants, you can tell that by those shitty little Yelp photos. And you can look and you zoom in real quick. I just know what really good food looks like. Maybe that's it. Maybe the 20 something years of professional chefing I've done, culinary, me just being in that. But I can pick stuff really easily because I found a Szechuan spot. I was, I was like, fuck it. I want to go for Chinese. I love Szechuan. I want to go for Szechuan. LA has no good fucking Szechuan unless you drive fucking an hour and a half or whatever. Then I finally got to find one. And I was like, man, this place is, oh, 26 miles away. Perfect. So it's a 40 minute drive and we're driving to Northridge to, to Szechuan place. And it's like, where's Northridge? Is, have you ever been there in your life? Yeah, it's the valley. No, it's north of the valley. It's on top of like Topanga. Everything over the hill is the valley. That's just the valley? Yeah, it's just the valley. The valley's big then. The it's valley's huge. vast? It's fucking huge. Okay. <laughs> and the valley's where Orno, Orno is shot, right? And we, uh, yeah, it used to be the hub of porn. Yeah. The valley. Like you can see Vivid off the 10. But now that's gone. Vivid Video? I don't know. It's gone. I look every time. They had a big glass building that said Vivid Video like off the 101, I think. or the. That's where you were telling that story last night. We're driving right by there. By Vivid? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that industry still is what it used to. I mean, it obviously isn't. It's a different. Because it's, you know, it's all different now. Yeah. It's all, I think it's all like, I don't even know. It's all cam girls and iPhone fucking and. The, the, the. No, the they're still making porn. They're still making porn. Right? I think they still make porn a lot. It's just I think they still make a lot. I think it's just like up here and then there's like homegrown. Like, I don't, I don't think that you have to, I don't think it's as much of a production anymore. You know what Look I mean? Look at this fucking stupid production. Obviously, you like could we make could, porn. We could, could make we, porn right now, and it would be just as good. It would we be, could make. We listen, could. We could direct. I, I don't want to be in it. No, I'm not a I performer. Want, I don't want you to be in it. I can't but be in it. We could direct some fantastic porn with this setup, with these cameras. With we have this. Have best, we have juice. Have we got this. We have objects. Right. We can listen. We got a monitor. The just makeup bag is still on the table. Fucking pounding, smacking, licking, spitting, touching, tickling, loving, caressing, hugging, squeezing. Permission. Climax. Permission. <laughs> um, holding. Holding. Kissing. Um, also a- asking holding. permission for every. Can I do? Can we? Do we can all? Look, can we all agree? Can we all agree? All of us in this room. All of us in this room. Can we all agree that we want to? Fist can, me. Can I touch everyone? Can we fist me? Can we all can agree we all... that everyone in the room should fist me? <laughs> That's what it always ends up. <laughs> I want to be. If everyone can agree, we got the game. It always ends up with a fist. I'm going to set up a Chatterbait account right now, and we're going to start dumping their trucks in me. I'm I'm the dump. You're going to get fucked. Back up the dump so, truck. Yeah. So, so Szechuan last night so yeah, was really I'll, funny. And I'll give it to you. You can terminate or scan a picture of a menu. I get it. No, Fast. I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm not. I can't. I can't pick that apart. Right. You can just terminate or scan and go beep beep beep. You zone in and you're like, that's good food. Oh. Right. There's things I could probably do that with. That. that yeah. If you drive time. by like a wall and you see all these graffiti pieces <laughs> and you're like, man, that's a toy. Oh man, that guy's a biscuit. Oh, that guy's sure. a fucking loser. And you're like, wait a second. That one is spray painted. So sick. Yeah, that's exactly what goes on in my mind. You like those angel wings on the pink wall over there. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. The bad the bad. Some bitch. Some people are good at... I can find good food pics in Yelp, and you can find like those, the perfect angel wings those in Venice. Bad, those bad bitch angel wings. <laughs> those that you bad bitches. That you take a picture in front of them, it's like in the city of angels. Oh. Only one queen will reign. And then there's like always girls just like yeah. selfie sticking. 65 people Fine. lined up to take a photo. We should run that. Should we do a PTA? We should do a PTA seat? at angel the pink wings. wall. Yeah. yeah. So... We went to Szechuan. I've never been to Szechuan. You've never had Szechuan. As soon I as find that crazy. I've See, never, that's LA. You've li- lived in LA your whole life and you've never had that. I don't cuisine. really give a fuck about Chinese food, really. Because it's not big here. You eat Korean, you eat, you know. I like Korean food. You eat uh, white rich salads. Holy shit, we're doing a fucking food podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I didn't want to do. No. Okay. So talk to me about never having Szechuan, Alex. Okay, so we have Szechuan. Um, it's cool. The cool thing about it was... Um, what about I mean, the jokes about when we finally realized what's happening in the world and then we were driving towards a restaurant that rhymes with Arona virus? Well, on the way there, Andrea and Christina started palpitating because they're like, <laughs> we're going to catch a virus 
known as coronavirus. Where you get the coronavirus because these people, this is Deep Valley. So that means real Chinese people. That means connections <laughs> to the homeland. So they're just like, we're going to fucking die. And as soon as we get in there, Andrea, just in full, like loud Italian, just Christina like. Christina is trying to raise her hand to speak. She's trying to, <laughs> you don't have to raise your hand. Give her a mic. It's Chinese New Year. Everyone's traveling. How loud was Andrea saying Corona? It's okay. She doesn't need a mic. Does she need a mic? No. She's in there going Corona, Corona. And like, there's only three families. There's in there. three, literally just filled so, with families. Yeah. Filled with safe, beautiful, everyone, amazing families eating amazing Szechuan. Everyone was wearing gas masks and eating with Every, metal, everyone had just like chopsticks. rubber, yeah. like dish gloves. Yeah. Yeah, hazmat suits. Everyone had a hazmat suit on in this restaurant. Wait, no, everyone was just living their lives. Everyone was living their lives. And everyone was, except for Andrea, and she was just with the sanitizer. She would touch something, sanitize, eat something, sanitize. It was a bit much. And right. I think it's just like the fear of disease. Yeah. I get it. I don't think coronavirus is probably pleasant and it's going to wipe out 10% of the population. But right now, we just wanted to eat some nice Szechuan. Your take on it, which I like, I respect. Yeah. It's not my take, but your take is if I've been through all this crazy shit in my life, survived mm. heart attacks, uh, you probably tussled with a few boars. Mm. You've been in some questionable orgies. Mm -mm. No. Uh, but you've survived all these dubious situations for you to get taken out by a little tiny, little S tiny germ. If I die from like the flu or right. fucking... Uh, what's that bullshit called where you get a whooping cough or like pneumonia? If I, yeah, pneumonias then or a a whooping cough or I, if I get taken down by some fucking shit like that, like a fucking like a like somebody walks by sneezes on the street on a subway and I all of a sudden get a rash on my face and I itch my eye, my eye falls out. I give it to my family, and my children, and we start a. If I die by the plague, it's not nice for me. I want to die like I want to die like I'm I'm I you know I don't picture myself dying from that. You don't get And it doesn't scare me like I can't be I can't live in a world where I can be scared by stuff like that. Fair. You don't get to pick your death. I like, know. It could be stupid well, I, as shit. Well, I yeah, I can. Well, if you kill yourself, you can't. Yeah, but, I'm in complete control. I'll okay. euthanize. I'll get to a certain point and I'll be like this has been nice. You're going to like, I'm going to euthanize by pancakes right now. Yeah. I'm going to just, you know, we're going to clip it all up right yeah. now. I think I have all my family there. Yeah. Do the hose, the hose from the Suburban into, yeah. the, into the thing. My, I'll have a budget rental car. Tall stacks of pancakes. Tall syrup. Right? Lots of syrup. Eat my look, a couple fried chickens. A couple fried chickens. I had some fried chickens, a couple pancakes and syrups. My family all around me. I'm like, you know, 63. <laughs> yeah. And just shut it down. Shut it down. Just close my eyes. See you guys. And, then, and then Trish walks over, just like shotgun blast in the face. Nice. She's I like, I've that. wanted to do this for a while. Yeah. Thanks. Mac, have a good life. Uh, Everyone's enjoy, good. It's enjoy. not going to get better for me from here. I got a, uh, you know, same thing with like what I said about the dog too. Like if, as soon as if I had an animal. 70%. And it got, if it got to 70%, it would be like a rat because it's just, that's not my dog. That's not my, my animal is 100%. My dog is fine. My dog is like a Tom Brady at all times. My dog is in a perfect a retriever that's running through the woods, saving somebody from a frozen lake. If my dog isn't that dog, then that dog isn't my dog. It's interesting. You know who else thought that way? Who? They're called the Nazis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm talking about dogs! Well. What's it? I open up my app and I'm like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What do I get? Oh, hold on. Let me open up my DoorDash app. Oh, I'm on. Oh. I want, um, oh my goodness, that looks so yummy. Let me get it. Ding, 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 ding. Knock, knock, knock. Guess what? They're at my door. It's already happening, guys. It's already happening. It's the greatest thing in the world. DoorDash.com is bringing you food from so many restaurants all over the world. They're bringing them from, from the restaurants. Safely prepared, beautifully prepared, brought to you from your house to from my house to your house. We're bringing it. DoorDash.com. And guess what? Right now, if you put in the code PTA when you go and download the app, guess what? You're going to get $5 off your first $15 purchase. $5 off a $15 purchase. Download the app. DoorDash.com. PTA. PTA. Powerful Truth Angels. Huh. Thank you, DoorDash. Bring my food, knock, knock, yeah. Because Omar is definitely, I'm saying she's getting down to 64% easy. 
And it's you think hard. Omar's at sixty four percent? Yeah, that's dude. very generous. She's very low. Oh. That's very generous. <laughs> Omar, Omar's at sixty four. Can you fly? Can you, Jason? Can let's you fly bring, in Omar? Let's bring Omar in. She's she's not uh, she's slowed down a lot. I went I went out of town for a week. Mm. I came back. She's visibly older, like slower. Yeah. She's really a piece of shit. I've Come known I've known Come I've known Omar up. about seven years, Come and here. I and I'm thinking. Hey, oh, don't. I'm thinking. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. <laughs> wow, Jason just pushing it over like he's it's like a, like a plate a, of shitty food. He's got a great bedside manner. This guy. <laughs> hey, can, can you watch one of my kids? <laughs> um, just pushes it into the table. She's. I love Omar. I I love Omar. She's got, I think Omar's one of my favorite animals. For a guy who like is so indifferent about fucking animals, I think not fucking animals, but right. like you know what I mean. I like. I love Omar. I do. She's a great. <sighs> She's a great girl, but her eyes. Her but she's eyes not are, at sixty four. She's sixty four percent. Fifty seven tops. You think? Yeah. You think she's halfway toast? Her, I, her don't eyes know. are shot and out. You 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 washed her yesterday, so she <laughs> looks good. Yeah. You gave her a bath and you scrubbed her and you 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 combed her and you did everything. I have to. Wash she her. looks like she has coronavirus. <laughs> Does she have coronavirus? I mean, she is. Shih Tzu's, I believe, are Chinese, so it's possible. See? Oh, my goodness. The Shih Tzu. Is that xenophobic? I think so. Okay. Oh, okay. We're shutting it down. All right. So, you've never had Szechuan. I never had Szechuan. And last night was pretty good. I would say the Szechuan we had last night yeah. was, you know, about like 75%. Oh, that good. It was good. So, you give it a 7 the chili, The chili fish was fucking good. And if everyone was, if everyone wasn't like in like high risk coronavirus fear, yeah, because we're a bunch of fucking no, that, white losers. That besides you, besides me, besides you, right. we're a bunch of white losers. Right. And we made a joke about coronavirus. Then all of a sudden, everyone was like actually twisted, being like, "Are we really walking into this restaurant right now? Right. Are we really going to be eating in this restaurant right now?" And I was like, "Yeah, you fucking idiots! Right. Like, what? Yes, we're going to go in here and have delicious Szechuan, and it's going to be great." I mean, I, I'm not a fan. And it was it was very good. We had Dan Dan. The Dan Dan noodles were fire. The chili fish was fire. Everything was, uh, excuse me, the, the green beans. Remember the green beans? Green beans were good. Malpo tofu was fucking incredible. I just, I feel like that kind of food, mm. it's just greasy. It's, it's not just, greasy. It's What are you talking about? Nothing this was is, greasy last it's night. It's all greasy. It was fried chicken. Oil. Okay, whatever. It's not oil, greasy, though. Oil grease. greasy to me. See, the word greasy to me yeah. is like saturated and like s cooked poorly. That was cooked correctly, and that is just the method and the use of the oil was done properly. So that to me isn't greasy. Okay, oily? Does that make you feel better? Wet. It was wet. The food was wet. We were eating soup, you <laughs> fucking weirdo. Uh, there was only one We were eating soup. oily soup. That's <laughs> Szechuan. <laughs> wet. Everything was wet. Yeah, that's, that's Szechuan. You know what? That's what it is about Chinese food. Everything's fucking wet. What do you want to eat? A salad or you just want to eat a whole chicken? Yes. There's, yes. That's it. Yes. Your favorite cuisine is chicken. No, I love sushi. No. I like steak. What do you mean I know? You love just a chicken. I love... No, no, no. You're like I, a fuck, like a golem that wants to eat a giant grouper head, but instead of that grouper head, you're a, a troll that wants to just every, eat a chicken. Every meal, bones in. Every meal can't be fucking Mardi Gras for me. All right. I don't think it should be. Yes, you do. <laughs> every meal for you is a fucking five star, full bird colonel war parade. Well, you're just if it like, isn't, it's a wasted there's meal. Ex there's explosions. It's just out of control. Every time you eat, you have to fucking you have to gulp down Zantac. You get diarrhea. No. You're like, what's wrong with me? I'm dying every time. Every time you eat, you're about to die. I'm not about to die. I am so strong and my cholesterol is perfect and my blood pressure is perfect. I, and I, I we already that. talked about this before too. I have a we're, blood. Uh, we're going to have an episode where I do blood work on the show. I have a blood pressure monitor in the other room. I'll get it and I'll fucking Dude, stop. my blood pressure is pumped. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pumped. <laughs> Anyways. So the first time so, having Szechuan, it's so the, greasy and watery. Uh, no, no, no. I'm this is why Chinese, I don't take you to the, like good listen, places. No, do you? Okay, for example, do you like Pine and Crane down the street? Never been. Oh, I like I like Pine and Crane. That's not a, but that's like a hipster restaurant. No, I hear. That's it. like so, someone told me it's actually pretty legit. Like it's pretty. What is it? It's just it's Chinese. Chinese, but it's a certain region, I believe. It's okay, not, I thought it was like on there. some like hipster shit. Yeah. But someone told me that that they went there and they're like, no, this is like very regional, like. Someone told me it was too Chinese. And I was like, really? Oh, it's that's fucking good. Delicious. That's See, a, I like that. No, but it's it's like there's like a thing of peanuts. There's Dan Dan. Everything's not wet and covered in oil grease. Like it's it's not grease. Okay. 
Grease is like what you put in your <laughs> hair. Szechuan. Szechuan is an amazing cuisine. After a beautiful the, part of China. After and ate, you need to respect it. After I ate the fried chicken. What right? fried chicken? It was fried oh, chicken. Oh, the crispy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crispy is fried, fucko. Okay. I know. It's, okay. I know. It's fried chicken. <laughs> okay. It's fried chicken. Sure. Okay. After I had the crispy chicken with yeah. the peppers, mm, my so mouth good. felt like it was being stung by a million little ants, which was pretty cool. Szechuan. That's numbing. Szechuan. Numbing pe- the numbing power of the Szechuan pepper. That's the point of Szechuan. And then you drink a water, and, and it, it feels like you drink an Alka Seltzer. It's like po- your mouth is it's fit pop rocks. Yeah, it's amazing. It's chicken with pop rocks on it. That's what Szechuan is. Oh, Alex, it's not. It's yeah. it, it's five thousand years of cuisine. You think I have? A pre- you think I have a a, a pretty? Um, a, a, a I think you palette. have a very acute palate. That's a compliment. You understand that? I think you have an obtuse palate. That's pretty. That's not. There we go. That's good. Now you're good. What's the other triangle? <laughs> What's the other angle? I know obtuse an iso- and acute. Iso- I have an isosceles. isosceles. You have an isosceles. A very isosceles palate. You have a very isosceles triangle. Um, yeah. My- no, I think I think you are. You eat a lot for fuel. I, I know that you enjoy food, and I know a lot of things about you. Obviously. And. <laughs> Obviously. I know so many things about you, Alex. You know and, about five or six things about me. I know that you don't like eating at things you've never been to before because you're, you're afraid of trying a new cuisine. No, I'm not or... afraid. I'm afraid of carbohydrates. I know, but that's, that's food. Everything doesn't have to be carbohydrates. I know. I'm not asking you to eat a loaf of fucking bread every night. Yes, you are. <laughs> that's no. exactly what you're asking me. I, literally for breakfast today, I had a, 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 a grilled bread BLT from, from John and Vinny's with the juice to bread. And, a fucking, and then I got a side of just banana bread. And then I, I kind of laughed to myself. I, I was just like a double bread. I had a, a savory bread and a sweet bread for, for breakfast. And then what do you do after you eat all that? I drink a quad shot latte. And then I sat in my car and had like a bunch of phone calls. So I had a headache. Yeah, a lot of fun. So and you then, fried your brain with those yeah, AirPods? Yeah, I just fried my brain with my AirPods. And then I, I just had a bunch of business calls because I have to it's still, uh, you know, I got a lot of businesses. Very you do, important, you are, highly you, successful, uh, highly successful business guy. You are. I, I mean, I'd like to poke holes in that, but I can't. You can't. Because you are, you are this uh, business phone call guy. It's really great when you have someone over and they just pace around the length of your house doing figure eights yelling. Well, yeah, it'd be great. Oh, we should do a deal together. It'd be cool. Love seeing you, man. Great. Oh, I love your TV show. We'll do a show. I don't know. I'll be over there. Are we going to Spain? Are we going to do a world tour? I need to be documented. We what is all this? Man. I'm just, this is what I it's pace like. though. I am a pacer. Pacing, yelling. So, Pacing, yelling. So I not know. only, not I know. Only, I have a talk room in my house at that. Trisha pushes me. I'll start doing that at our house. Yeah. And Trisha will push me into this like sunroom we have. Yeah. And I, I, I do laps. <laughs> you just, I'll do 10,000 steps in an hour. You remember when you're a kid mm. and you see that? You see in a movie or a TV show, the businessman pacing on the phone. He's like, listen, Greg, we got to make this fucking deal. It's going down. 4.9 4. APR. Got to happen. And then you become that guy. That's me. I am the, I'm the APR guy. Because the first time you pace on the phone, you're being a, you're just being a nerd. You're trying it. And then you end up doing it. Yeah. And then you end up being that guy. You're walking around. Circle because it keeps your circle. brain. You have to be pacing. It makes you talk. Like if we were to do a podcast while I was pasting and we yeah. did it actually on the phone, it'd be much better because I'd be in a zone and I'm locked in and I'm fucking going hard. Like I have a business partner that yeah. will only only talk to me when I'm in my car so he has absolute like um, concentration. If I'm driving and just talking, he knows that I'm not on my phone. And he's like, are you in your fucking car? Now is the time. And it, we only do meetings when I'm in my car because he knows that um, that's my attention span. Because like if I have meetings in my office, I'm in my office. There's so many different things going on. I have people coming in, people going out, so many different businesses. Because I'm just, once again, just really highly successful. So, so many different businesses. Should we do a walking pod where we put on uh, mics to go and just walk around the block? Yeah, we, we could do that. We I could. think we, we could, could do, do that. I think we're going to do a walk. every Once a month, maybe do a travel a travel pod where we, we walk, and we talk. Because I think there's nothing greater than, <clears throat> you know, we could put e- even like the ankle weights on. We could put the ankle weights on and really try to get the most out of that walk. I don't think you need to put those on. No, I'm fucking 300 pounds. Okay. I've got lots so of ankle, ankle. Let's wrap up the Szechuan conversation. It was great. I'm glad I won. I'm glad I tried new Are things. You, would, you go, would you have Szechuan again? Maybe. Andrea, are you sanitized? <laughs> we already talked about the coronavirus epidemic. And we talked about your iguana situation. Sorry. The what? The iguana situation. No, we, di- no, we didn't. <laughs> Is the iguana ever coming? Andrea made out with an iguana once in college, and she t- told us last night eating um, Theater butt. Szechuan, and 
Now we can't talk about it. Iguana ate your butt? Iguana ate your butt? Okay. So, Szechuan, great. Thanks for taking me. Ah! Everyone has been there. Have you ever nicked a little nub? Hit the little ball bag sack? You ever hit the ball bag sack and you get a little zip zap? Yeah, guess what, guys? Guess what? No! No more! We don't have to zip zap. No more. You got to take care and groom your undercarriage the way that we know how, the way that Manscaped has led us to the forefront of comfortability while maintaining the undercarriage, the bits and the pieces, the beans and the sprouts. Oh, the Manscaped lawnmower. Oh, it saves lives. It saves lives. Nobody wants to go down there and see just a whoosh, a whirlwind of, of fur and hair and business. You want to take it, make it nice. You know, you can make your own designs. You can do so much with the 3.0 lawnmower manscape shaver. Did you know the battery lasts up to 90 minutes and it's got an LED light? Do it in the night. Hey, what's going on in there? I got I got something going on over here. My light's out. Oh my goodness, guess what? Light on my mower. I should take, take it for a ride. Get that zero turn lawnmower 3.0 out out. We take it, and guess what? And let's not forget about the charging stand. Show your mower off loud and proud with the charger. So many people have written in stories how it's changed the lives. The lawnmower 3.0 has changed lives. I love using it. I use it on the face and go straight down. Use it on the face, go straight down to the undercarriage. It's very nice. And guess what? Guess what, everyone that's listening on Powerful Truth Angels, the greatest podcast of my mind, two-tone, me, manscaping each other shortly, very shortly. When we can go back and see each other, we're going to be, we're going to trim each other up. And you get 20% off free shipping, 20% off free shipping, lawnmower 3.0, manscaped.com, P-T-A, P-T-A. Hey, manscaped.com, lawnmower 3.0, coming your way. Fill your boots and trim your body hairs. This is the Powerful Truth Angels. Killed it. Let's talk about... Painting? What are I what? I didn't even know that these were here. That's <laughs> stupid. Stupid. All right. You, I think that we... Are great artists. Can I just say that we just did a whole pod with this shit behind us without even explaining yeah, it? Yeah, if you guys uh, tuned in on episode 30... Don't do it. 600... doesn't matter. 616. I'm going to title all these, by the way. No, no, these are numbered. No. Every podcast is numbered. I'm going to sign a title to every One, pod. two... This is five... This is our fourth podcast. Eighth. Sixth podcast. Okay. Anyways. And on our fifth podcast, <sighs> we painted. We did. Because Alex said I was a horrible artist, didn't you? Because he likes putting down his buddies. <laughs> Even though I, I gift wrapped up this whole podcast, put a bow on it, gave it to him. I like it. And he I, likes to I, still shit on me. I like that we literally came up with this together and you gave it to me. Well, we had a conversation. We said, I said, you know, I really like to do a podcast. He said, you want to do it with me? I said, yeah, okay. No way. <laughs> you didn't say that. I said, maybe. I'll, I don't know. I'll and I was like, it. yeah, we're going to get rich. So. Here we go. This Wait, is no, no, hold on. Oh, we had a paint off. We had so paint war. Down. Paint war. We we turned we turned the canvases. You'll see this in the forgotten episode. You'll don't see put a clip up right now. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's Zoo. and also I, I want a graphic here, George. It says paint off. I hear paint off. I want sparkles. Okay, make I want a note. It to dissolve all make over my a hand. Note, right here. George. Right here. You see that? See the logo? George. The type. The paint wars. Paint off. Paint wars. I want the logo here dissolve. Go away with a rainbow through it. Paint wars. I was doing the thing, man. You shit all over it. Okay, listen. I didn't shit on it. I was adding. You just did a fucking Batman. I didn't say Bat. You can't say Batman. We can't get that license. You can bleep it. Okay. So we we turned the canvases towards ourselves. We put a camera on each canvas. We put a wide shot on the whole thing. We took one hour. One hour. To do portraits of each other. Yeah. And this is what happened. Look at what happened. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think. The proof is in the tape. What was your reaction when you saw my painting? I thought it was great. I was stoked. You were a little flat. And tell us how you choked mid painting. Okay, so and tell us I'm how painting. <laughs> Alex, Alex 
is um, an interesting uh, face to paint. Uh, he's got salt and pepper hair. He's got a mustache. He's got, you know, uh, looks like, you know, he's, he's beautiful. Man, he's just, he, he's got wavy hair and to do hair is tough. And so, but, um, so I wanted to, to, I painted his face and I did a little underpainting of green and then I painted his face. And so his face was, his head was green and I just painted inside and then, and then I spazzed. Cause I was like, ah, I don't like it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't look like him. Yeah. And then I, I, I was like, I'll just because painting, you can just start over at any moment. Yeah. And then I just took a bunch of black paint and 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 blacked out his whole face and made him black. And, uh, and everyone started gasping. And everyone in the room, I guess, started being like, uh, watch what you're doing. Just said, uh, step step lightly on. Uh, What's happening here? Yeah. And Alex. Um, and I'm watching them. They're reacting. They're like, watching. And I, it and was it, chewing me up to know what you were doing. I wanted to know so bad. Because we were honest to each other. We weren't looking. We weren't peeking. No, no, no. We kept it real. And the thing that happened here is you decided midway that I'm going to take Alex. <laughs> I'm going to merge him with a tree and also Jay Leno. Yeah. That's what happened here. Well, when I look at you, I see like a beautiful <laughs> Jay Leno. black Jay Leno. Okay. So I, I just think it's a night, you know, to me. Yeah. You know, once again, Alex's parents are right up there. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Uh, yeah. German. Let's not get too distracted. Okay. So, so, so I, I, and then I painted it black and <laughs> like legitimately I didn't really, cause I was just like, I'm just going to start over. I'll just get a black canvas going. So I just like blacked out his face. And then everyone was just like, uh, Maddie, you just like, be careful. Be careful. Just be careful what's yeah. happening this right day, now. This day because everyone age. was like, everyone was like happy with what was happening. I guess it was because it's art. Your face was, I'm not yellow, you know? Right. I'm not yellow. Right. And, 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 and you're not this color either. Yeah. And that's art. My face is not eight shades of gray with brown undertones. Great lips though. You really nailed that. That's, These that's are your own. lips. These are your lips smackaroos. here. You have beautiful red lips. Yeah. And so yeah. I wanted to do that. And then your mustache. Yeah. And then, here that literally looks like one of those black fuzzy caterpillars this the is mustache. look yeah. at him yeah. now your mustache i nailed it my mustache looks like like an old cat or something yeah, yeah i don't have like a cat i don't have like a strong mustache i yeah. just have like a mustache yeah, yeah yeah. i have like a shitty white guy mustache it's interesting that people people's mustaches you know are different yeah well i can't grow a beard do you know how envious i am i can't even grow a beard because i can't grow in like here Right, yeah, so it doesn't yeah. connect. Right. So then, when I, if I grow a beard, I get that kind of Amish thing where I have like a, a white you, space. You don't want to grow a beard anyway. I don't want to grow a beard anyway. You don't need a beard. I don't want a beard. So, so and but I think I I got your hair really nice, and then you were wearing a plaid shirt, and it wasn't this color, no. but I thought this color looked great on you. It's a good color for me. You got the upside down green crosses, the underpainting. I like the gigantic ear taking up a third of my head. And great, uh, no pupils. And I just let's make these eyes just some lines, some brown, no white. You could, you know, if you would have made the eyes nice, you could have pulled this out of the trash. I, what do you mean? I mean, no, no, no. It's fine. It's great. You don't it's, like this it's, one? It's higher. This art. one's a little if, bigger. If you would have worked on the eye a little bit, you could have made this a little nicer. You know, but pupils fuck up. Eyes are so tough to paint. Right. I mean, I nailed your eyes. It's just too. Yeah, you. I. I, I look like a yellow chocolate. worm. It's fine. I'm a <laughs> yellow worm. Two dabs of chocolate. This is. This looks like a nightmare. This is like a night. <laughs> this is like night. This is in a uh, like a nightmare movie. This is like what your your adopted child that comes from the hell right. looks like. Right. And, and they paint. And they're like, oh, Timmy painted this painting of mummy, and it looks like a dead worm. Right. You find out your adopted child is actually seventeen. Yeah. He fucks your wife and kills your kid. And fucks yeah. The dog. And yeah. that this is the painting that that guy would do. If, yeah. The guy that would fuck your wife and kill I, you. I wanted to paint Nightmare Maddie. Um, and the way I paint is uh, it's more like a, uh, I just I just kind of just chip away at things and sculpt. With I paint. liked it. That's what I did. I love. I really like this, and I, it, and it just shows like I'm a little more funny, a little more happy right? here. <laughs> you're you're dark. dark. You're dark. Heart of darkness right Heart here. Heart of darkness. Yeah. yeah you're true. sad and yeah. Anyway, so that that's sad. um. So we paint it off and, and, and because I think you just never thought that I had juice and I think that it shows I got some I got some deep deep art in me. Yeah. I'm quite a painter. Yeah, there's something going on in you. It was fun to do. 
and you saw the look on my face when you turned it around. You started cackling and laughing how often instantly. Do you, how often do you see me actually actually smile like from the inside? You smile from the inside. It's and rare. you know because we're such good friends that it warms my heart. To see, to you, to see that you made me smile. That I it's made you rarity. smile. Yeah. Because I know that, and I know that you wouldn't hang this up here. No. And I know that you think that it's like, it's still trash, but it's like, it's it's good, but it's like a trash. We, we painted in one hour. Like, what's going to happen? You know I don't mean? know. Don't you think I could? No. You want to take your time when you paint. You want to. You yeah. I did this quickly. This you can see by my brush strokes. Yeah. Also shit brushes, shitty paint. Shit brushes, shit paint. Canvases. It was, you know, we're under pressure over here. You know what I mean? Oh. <sighs> You just rip one? No. That's disgusting. Man. Then couldn't. It was Omar. anyway. So that's that's why these are here. We did the paint episode. Get, yeah, that's um, it. That was inspired by when Leslie came by, my Art. neighbor. She came Arf by and, and she she right. That's how we got to this. Yeah, place we got we, to it. What the fuck is this? Oh, we're flying in some food. This is a food podcast. <laughs> it's not a food podcast. Yeah, look at this. Those are oh a those cabbage are, salad. <laughs> these are ashtrays. <laughs> Oh, Why is she putting, look, a little cauliflower? Why is she putting food? Oh my god, there's a oh, chicken. What? My favorite podcast. This is my favorite. I'm hungry actually. Holy right shit. Now. Where's this chicken from? Chicken. It's from Kismet. Look. Can we, can we say Kismet? Kismet. Holy yeah. Shit. Holy shit. My favorite shit. chicken in LA. Omar. Wait, is there tahini? Yeah. Mm. No. No, we don't need that. That'll be too messy to eat. Oh my god. This is the best chicken in LA. Is it not? Top. <laughs> Can I really rank my chickens in LA? Because I eat a lot of chicken. I want to chew into the microphone. ASMR? ASMR. Let's do some ASMR. Yeah, hold on. I want to. Oh, no. Can I be honest about my chicken rankings? Or are you going to try? Mm -hmm. LA is a chicken town, isn't it? Yeah. So? Have, you, have you been to Poil? Why is this fucking turning into a food? I'm actually eating. We said it wasn't going to be about food. Now we're eating food. Food is so good for you. Talking about food. Food right. is so good for you. I can't say no to chicken, man. I can't. You're, it's your favorite cuisine. It's just chicken. That's not true. Yeah. No, maybe. Poil La Braza. Poil, that's your favorite. No. No? I'm doing a ranking. Poil okay. La Braza. Let me do, I'm going to do my five favorite chickens. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Poil La Braza. Thank you. Which is on a Western near like uh, Wilshire. Yeah. It's Peruvian chicken, wood wood roasted. Wow. You got this crazy green sauce. It's so fucking juicy. Yeah. Zanku has a good chicken. But Everyone talks about Zanku. Zanku. Is like, that because it's just over here? No, they, they do a good rotisserie chicken. There's a bunch of different ones. A family split up. There's a murder. There's like mm -hmm. the ones in Glendale are even better because you get these little stewed tomatoes. Mm hmm. Wow. Kismet just opened up this spot. Kismet's my favorite. Right down the street, the shit's fire. Because man, it's fucking fire. Is there tahini or only any <laughs> any tahini or hummus? I'll take some tzatziki. Tzatziki, their garlic sauce is the best. Um, yeah, this garlic sauce is fucking fire. What's good about Zanku is they got that garlic mayo, which is tight. Mm -hmm. Um, <sighs> dude, this place is fucking good. You know why it's good too? I can tell this is high quality chicken. Zanku, I don't know where they're getting. They the buy good. From. Sarah, the Sarahs. We met the Sarahs. Oh, I've and known the, the Sarahs. The Sarahs well, are the best. I met the Sarahs. They're lovely. Yeah. No one who's making it. They're such nice people. Such we nice look. people. We had a conversation. Um, this is the second time they've been on the show. We should have them on the show. Should we have the Sarahs on the show? They're right down the street. Fuck it. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, let me get some of that. This podcast on audio is really good. <laughs> this is retarded. I did it again. George, what do you think? This is like kind of like our our I food show. I said the R word again, George. What'd I can't you say? Stop, I can't stop myself. What did you say it again? Are we, are we gonna get shut down if I do? Yes. That? Who gives a fuck? Anyways. No. Well, um, I guess I do. This is tight. Mm -hmm. So Zanku, Poil La Braza is like high ranking. Look at me. Don't look at the monitor. Don't look at the monitor. Look at me. We're on a show together. We're talking. Put Zan let yeah. me hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. You gotta, you gotta hear what the audience is hearing. <laughs> okay, here we go. I want to hear it in the cans. <laughs> Do you want to hear my chicken ranking or yeah, not? Keep going. I can hear you. Poil the Braza, Kismet, neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Zanku has stepped down, mm -hmm. and the quality is, you know, it's it's good. It's dependable and it's cheap. Mm. Um. What else? 
Who else has the best chicken? What about when we had that meeting with our podcast guys, with George and Alex? <laughs> How'd you feel about that one, Al? Fuck that chicken. Fuck that chicken. You know what's funny? I was by that place today, and I took a photo, and I was going to send it to Alex and be like, yo, fuck that spot. And yo, then- <laughs> so like, we were gonna take- you took them to the back room of John and Vinny's and shut down the secret room where fucking LeBron eats. You yeah. took them there. That's where I took them. You took them there. It was like luxurious. We're, yep. in the, we're in like the private dining. The Goodfellas room, right? Yeah. That's what I did. That's what you did. They go, we have the fire spot. Meet us on the corner of Virgil and like, what was it, Beverly? Dude, it's fucking maybe Melrose. Best chicken in the city. The chicken, number one, there weren't even seats. It was ice cold. There was no seats. And they're playing fucking Cumbia on 10. Dude. It was the craziest um, eating experience I've ever had. The chicken was just, was all fired in a fucking steel drum out there. And you could taste chicken. And inside the chicken, you just taste car exhaust. Because it's basically cooked in the middle of the street. It was. It was. So I don't know what the fuck they were talking about. But bro, on my chicken scale. That chicken scale. So, so like Alex, if he wanted to like learn something. Yeah. Should he like wine and dine? People that they want to do podcasts with, like at the dog shit fucking chicken spot. I want to be warm. I want to be served. I think it was the funny. The funniest thing about that whole experience was like, he was like, man, my last meal would be this place. And it's like the worst. Your chicken. last meal, you want to be cold and you want to smell gasoline. Um, Maybe uh, he's, he's a dark, he's a dark dude. You know, who knows? Fucking <laughs> Alex. You know what I mean? Oh my God. This um, is so good. The chili oil is fire. This is it's fire. so good. Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on, eh? What is going on? He's legit disgusted. Because you know why he's got the cans on? He has to hear you eating. It's, just, it's fucking horrifying. Look at his face. Yeah, but I think it's good for everybody to hear that. That's what my fan base wants. I don't think so. My fan base is like, Maddie, give it to me. I'm like, what? And they're like, the chomping of your chomps. I think mean, they've had enough. Right, guys? I think eating, eating sounds the same as like a car wash, you know? Yeah, but way grosser. The chili oil and the fucking shit is so fucking good. Did she leave? It's my favorite thing. Where is she? Where is she going? Dude, Andrea. That was amazing. She's amazing. Dude, she just flew in a whole chicken that meal. That was amazing. On this silver. This podcast is brought to you by Kismet. Um, mm. Mm. Can I? Can I? Maddie. You can say whatever you want. Are you kidding me? I don't know. But you hide in the microphone like someone's gonna fucking. We bought this. It's not like they gave it to us for free. We're shouting them out. I'm talking about my other chicken spots. You have to. You have to edit this out. Why? Can we cut this part out? Why? Because you t- you were like. You didn't. I don't. Because there's another chicken spot I really like. What's your favorite chicken spot in all of LA? I like Kismet. I like All Day Baby. Yeah. They have a great chicken, a great roasted chicken. Yeah. Um, That's fine. (laughs) This podcast just got dog fucked by this chicken. Eating on air is so stupid, but it's so good. And it's just a little bit of a time for us to contemplate and think about. God, who else has a good chicken? You know who else we has a good talked chicken? About, we haven't talked about barbecue. Oh, horse thief has some good barbecue chicken. Who's heard, this cauliflower is fucking mental? Is it? Yeah, fucking mental, bro. Fucking mental, bro. Okay, so that was great. Oh my god! So now, powerful truth, angels. Where are we at? So. This podcast was brought to you by a fucking food podcast. And I just want you guys to know that everything that we're doing out here is for you guys. And if you guys want us to, what recipes do you guys want to hear about? What kind of, you know, what kind of desserts, what kind of squares, cakes, brownies? What are you guys looking for from this podcast? Once again, just email Alex Erdman. At <laughs> don't, don't do that, man. Erdman um, at yahoo.com. Yo, now, can you actually not do that? What? Can you not, if you start telling people this, they're going to be on our heads about food all the time. We, I don't want to deal with, I don't give a fuck about food. No, 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 I don't want to do it. Hey guys, this is a food cast. It's not a fucking this food This is a food cast. 
It's not this a food the first cast. ever food cast brought to you by my best friend Alex. <laughs> We're supposed it's to not be talking. half dead dog Omar, and uh, <laughs> she's not half dead. She's, 60, she's at fifty-seven percent. Sixty percent. She's at fifty-seven percent. She's on the way out. She's yeah. She's it's fine. I think we've had a good run. We've had the best. We've I've had, had the best, r- best run with this dog, dude. Everyone in LA. Do you know she's what? She's twelve years old. This dog is. She's a fucking landmark. Um, I gonna, I think it, so. Once again, once again, what do you? What restaurants do you guys want us to check no, out? We're dude. restaurant reviewers. Don't fucking do it. We're just real excited to hear what you guys want us to go. I want I want to hear really great spots. George, can you cut that out? Hey, you're not cutting that out. I know you're being funny. You're doing a bit, but if you do this. We're going to get pushed into talking about food. I don't want to talk about food, man. We don't have to talk about food. Why the fuck did you? You were the one who started off the podcast talking about Szechuan. I was I talking wanna, about our day. I didn't want to talk about Szechuan. <laughs> fuck. I did not want to talk about that Szechuan experience. I thought this podcast was going to be, be just about me. Yeah, and look, man. and now we have a whole podcast off top about fucking Szechuan and chicken. And you just gave your top 10 chickens of LA. Guys, this is Alex's I, top 10 foodery podcast. And if you guys want, <laughs> just once again, email two tone at what you And that's not my email, thank God. <laughs> You're like, wait, is that my actual email? <laughs> Sounded like, yeah. So but if, you, if send, you guys shoot that email, send that email, ask for recipes. Um, call call Maddie up at his house. Let me what's your number, Maddie? Let me give me your number. You can call I got him. a house line. He wants to talk about hardcore music, fashion. All the things that Maddie's into, trucker hats. That's what Maddie wants to talk about. And business deals. You want to do a deal with, with Maddie? You want to do business? Take I love a, business. Take a business call with Maddie. He'll walk around in circles. He'll tell you how to do your job, how to make the deal, how to make some money. I love a business. The, the guy's making moves. He's making moves. Hey, if you guys want to make money, you come on over. We're making money. My business is called M- 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 Maddie. We're getting money. We're getting money. All right. It's been great. <laughs> Brought to you by art and food lifestyle. So this is a lifestyle podcast. We're lifestyle podcast. We're talking about fashion, food. Where'd you eat last week? We want to know. Actually, we want to know where you guys ate last night. This is this ended a few minutes ago, right, George? This didn't end yeah, anywhere. This, this is over. This is never ending. It's over. It's never ending. Okay, thanks guys. Powerful. This is podcast number 17. <laughs> so now, now, Maddie. Yeah. 